Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tetra Ninja, we're once again playing some Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. We are picking off exactly where we left off in this so-called arc. But it looks like we can talk to Hope one more time, so let's do that. As long as you're here, you're safe. You can rest and not worry about what's happening in the world below. When you're in the Ark, time ceases to flow for anyone but us. Is that all God can do? He can stop the flow of time up here, but he's helpless to prevent the world from being destroyed. Yes. In 13 days, God will reawaken. It'll all be over then, and no power in the universe can stop it. But the problem is, the world may have even less time than that. It doesn't happen at the same time? It should. But the world has been weakening rapidly under the onslaught of the chaos. The pace of the destruction is accelerating. Your problem is, if the world ends too soon, you won't have enough time to save all the souls you can. You have to delay the end for as long as possible. Now listen carefully, Light. What I'm going to tell you is very important. As the Savior, you have a special life force. I call it Aradia. It's the power of God's light. It gives you your powers. And much more. If you offer your life force, this Aradia, you can give energy to the world and delay the final destruction for a while. I can delay the destruction, but not avoid it forever. When God wakes after the 13th day, the world is screwed whatever I do. But what does it matter how many days are left? The end stays the same. Why not keep the Aradia for myself? Because if you did that, and the world ends before the 13th day, God will deem that you have failed. Then what will happen to your bargain? Will he still deliver on his promise if he believes that you failed to deliver on yours? Right, the bargain. In other words, if I don't keep the world alive for 13 days, I don't save Sarah. And not just Sarah either. The entire human race might be lost. So do you see, Light? Aradia is the key. You have to gather as much of it as you possibly can. And the way you do that is by saving people's souls. So that's what I've got to do. Save souls so that I can save Sarah. Yes, exactly. Remember how much snow has changed? Here at the end of the world, there are many people like him caught in the grip of despair, their hearts shackled by regret and longing. If you reach out and help them with their troubles, you can break those shackles. Then their souls will be released. They'll be free to be reborn in the new world, and in return, your savior life force will grow. So that's what he wants. Rescue as many souls as I can before the world ends and takes humanity with it. My mission. Oh, Light, I almost forgot. I prepared some things for you. Gifts. Feel free to open all the containers you see here. We got some glowing cubes surrounding us bouncing around. Ooh. New weapon. Looks like a shield. Some magic? And a new outfit. Like I was saying in part one, this game, this schemata is a lot like the battle system for Final Fantasy X-2. In that you can custom you can change your outfit on the fly to suit your needs. Is it me or does her head look very disproportionate to that body? <laughs> I'm assuming we just use the stuff that we just picked up. This one is locked to thunder, so it has to go there. How about a guard? So use a magical guard? Oh no, 25. Okay. Let's hit that to there. And it looks like a blizzard level 1. Which we can set the triangle.
No accessories. Three for now. He be my mist wizard. Save all? Dark Muse. Can I help you with anything? Got anything good? I got five EP right now. Oh. I don't die. But look, we got some lore. Maybe I'll fill in some of the story that we're missing. The destruction began 500 years ago, but you know that. It was when the chaos first flooded into our world. Most of the world was lost immediately under the ocean of chaos. Only one small region survived. The survivors call their island of refuge Nova Chrysalia. The chaos brought destruction and a kind of immortality too. Suddenly, everyone stopped growing. It was like we'd lost our time. But if that was a gift, it was a poisoned one. We could not age, and neither could new life be born. There were no more children. But although we were ageless, we were not immune to death. Sickness, accidents, and violence could still kill us. Life remained as fragile as it had always been. And so humanity began a new chapter of its history. The population slowly shrinking, the survivors falling into an ennui born of lives that last too long. Eventually, new creeds took hold and new legends created. One of these told of the Savior, a servant of God. She would descend to Nova Chrysalia at the end of the world, humanity's last chance for salvation. The Ark is the remains of the artificial cocoon, a planet built of steel back when humanity still dared to dream of greatness. Bunavelza has repurposed the world we built. This is where the souls of the saved are kept, ready to be reborn in the new world. But the people down on the surface have forgotten what this stands for and simply call it a moon. Who am I exactly? It's a question I don't have the answer to. I don't know how I know the things I'm telling you. I don't know who gave me the knowledge. It's not that I have forgotten my past. Some memories are still there and I can summon them when I want. It's just that I can't recall the emotions they should evoke, as if they're images of someone else's life. I know that I once lived in a great city on the surface of the planet. I know that Snow and I joined forces to try and battle the menace of the chaos. And then, suddenly, I was here. I tried to find out what happened. According to records that still survived, the man called Hope Estime disappeared 169 years ago. But the records and my memory end there. What happened after that? I can only assume I was in the hands of God. I was part of his plan, so he took me and prepared me for the role that I had to play. Alright. Got kind of an, uh, an explanation of what happened between the two games. That is the Book of Conquests, an ensorcelled tome. It draws on your memories to recreate foes that you have previously defeated, so you can fight them again. You again, I already five starred you. I'm assuming we're just learning how to escape. Oh man, so basically through this entire game we do not want to use the escape ability at all because <laughs> we lose an hour of time and we have a fixed amount of time we can... the 13 days before the entire world ends. Yes. 
so we're gonna use this sparingly. But I'm assuming it's not gonna affect us here. No more lectures today. You can head for the surface anytime you want. Just remember though, you have to come back here every morning at 6. You're giving the savior a curfew, is that it? There is a good reason. I'll explain it to you when the time comes. We can use the warp machine to send you back down. Just step in front of the device whenever you're ready to leave. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back at 6. Mother... By using the warp device, I can teleport you back down to the surface. I'm worried about Snow. I should go to his palace. You could, but I suggest you visit another city instead. You want me to abandon Snow? Down on the surface, time is stopped for everyone. The palace will still be on high alert. It would be next to impossible to get anywhere close to Snow. You're saying I should let things cool down first. Smart play. I'm going to send you to Luxarian. It's the capital of the world. Or, what's left of it anyway. I'll place you inside an inbound train. When the train stops at the station, you can get off with the other passengers. Something has happened in front of the station. Alright, do it. You're surprisingly calm for someone who's about to venture into unknown territory. But you were always brave. Brave? I don't feel brave. I don't feel anything. No worry, no confusion, no fear. That's good, but you still need to stay safe. I feel like all our emotions have been completely ripped away. Turning us into the ultimate killing machine! Man, the world sucks though now. Can't reproduce, can't age, but we can still die. <laughs> Not the best of places. I did install the game, so these load times should be a little bit shorter. Getting nostalgic FF8 feels right now. <laughs> kind of stick out there a little. Zarian. Luxarian, a bustling metropolis, the divine city of light in the holy sea of salvation. It's the last bastion of peace and order in a dying world. Most of the people who live here worship the almighty Benevelza. The city is governed in his name by a powerful religious sect known as the Order of Salvation. God's followers believe in ultimate redemption, and their faith helps keep the fires of hope hey. burning. But even in this pious city, a darkness lurks untouched by divine light. A heresy that rejects the teachings of Supreme Benevelza. So what is Vanille up to? It's another girl. How awful. I bet it's the heretics doing. The Divine City doesn't look so holy now. This was no accident. The girl was left here intentionally. <gasps> Light! There's no need. Just a dummy. Who 
scope. Did you see who dropped it? They must still be close. My sensors didn't pick up anything at all. I'm running a search of the city's video database, but I'm coming up blank so far. Doesn't matter. I'll just find out myself. Luxarian. The divine city of light. Is that what they call it? Trouble is, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. That's so deep. And that's definitely supposed to be for me. I know who that is. No spoilers though. <laughs> 